Hi everybody, we're playing Warframe and we're doing the Mastery Rank 12 challenge. I'm just going to the Strata Relay so we can do the practice run. So we need to fast travel to Cephalon Samaris. And of course here on the right hand side we've got all the practice booths. Let's find the one for Mastery Rank 12. And we can select practice. Your foes are not the only dangers you will face in the field. Avoid the lasers and defeat the enemies before the timer runs out. Okay, so we need to run around this uh, circle here and shoot the enemies as we go and not hit the lasers. So this is practicing the running and gunning. So we have to kill 16 of these enemies while avoiding the lasers. Accuracy test, I guess. Okay, we're done. It's not too hard. Alright, so now we can do the uh, the actual qualify. This is the real test. Your foes are not the only dangers you will face in the field. Avoid the lasers and defeat the enemies before the timer runs out. Okay, 16 enemies. to be any time limit on this one, it's just accuracy and avoiding the lasers. message in the inbox. In passing my test you continue to prove yourself and grow stronger. This mastery slate has been commissioned in honour of your achievement. Okay so let's take a look at the overframe website and see the weapons tier list. First we have the primary S tier list which is the best of the best. Uh, for primary weapons we've got the Rubico Prime. This is a prime variant of the Rubico semi-automatic sniper rifle. It's primarily doing uh, impact damage. It's got two scope zoom modes and a high fire rate and high crit chance and high crit multiplier and fast reload. You can acquire this weapon from Void Relics or from other players, but this weapon is currently vaulted. If we move to the uh, primary A tier list, which is the strong pick weapons, 
uh, we've got the Vacor Heck, which is a Steel Meridian Syndicate variant of the Heck shotgun. It's got uh, double mag capacity, faster fire rate, increased crit chance, and it does primarily puncture damage. It's a semi-automatic shotgun, and you can get this weapon from the Steel Meridian Syndicate. You need to be General Rank 5, or you can buy it from other players. Moving to the primary weapons B tier list, which are the good picks. Uh, we've got the Sybaris Prime, which is a prime variant of the Sybaris Burst Fire Rifle. It's doing primarily slash damage, but also impact damage and puncture damage. This one you can get from Void Relics or buy from other players, uh, but this one's currently vaulted. We have the Cernos Prime, which is a bow, which is firing three arrows per shot in a horizontal spread. The alternate fire shoots uh, vertically, three arrows. It does primarily impact damage. Uh, you can acquire this weapon from Void Relics or from other players, and uh, some of these Void Relics are vaulted, and some are not. We also have the Quellor, which is an ancient assault rifle, auto trigger, and it does high puncture damage with an alternate fire which does cold projectiles. You can acquire this main blueprint from uh, Railjack missions uh, from bosses in the Corm's Belt on Earth Proxima, Cassio's Rest on Saturn Proxima, or Flexa on the Vale Proxima. You can also trade this with players. Next we have the Sancti Tigris, which is a new Loka Syndicate variant of the Tigris. It's a shotgun that does mostly slash damage. Uh, it's a high damage weapon. You can get this from the new Loka Syndicate. You must be Flawless Rank 5. Next we have the Galaxian Vandal, which is a Vandal variant of the uh, Freeze Ray Rifle, the Galaxian. It does primarily cold damage. You can acquire this weapon from Barrow Katir, or you can get it from other players. Next we have the Rakta Cernos, which is the Red Veil vale Syndicate variant of the Cernos bow. Um, it's got the fastest charge time of all bows. It's mainly doing impact damage. The Rector Senos also has Blight Effect, which inflicts viral damage on enemies within 25 meters of the player. You can acquire this weapon from the Red Veil vale Syndicate. It must be Exalted Rank 5, or you can buy it from other players. Next we have the Stradivar Prime, which is a, a primed variant of the Stradivar Assault Rifle. It does semi or automatic fire modes via the alternate fire. Primarily doing impact damage and puncture damage, but it also does slash damage when it's on semi-auto mode. You can acquire this weapon from Void Relics or from other players, but it's currently vaulted. Uh, we have the Secura Penta, which is a Perrin Sequence Syndicate variant of this grenade launcher. Uh, it's primarily doing blast damage. You need to go to the Perrin Sequence Syndicate, and you must be partner rank 5. Also buy from other players. Next we have the Synoid Simulor, which is Cephalon Suda's variant of the Simulor. It's doing primarily magnetic damage, and it also does electric damage. This weapon has an entropy effect, which is uh, applying magnetic damage to any enemies within 25 meters of the player. You can acquire this weapon from Cephalon Suda, and you must be Genius Rank 5, or you can get it from other players. Next we have the Telos Boltor, which is the Hexus variant of the Boltor doing primarily puncture damage. It has a truth effect, which does gas damage to enemies within 25 meters radius of the player. Acquire this weapon from the Arbiters of Hexus Syndicate. You have to be Maxim rank 5, or get it from other players. Let's move on to secondary weapons. We have the A tier, which are the strong picks. Uh, we'll start with the Axamati Prime, which is a primed variant of the Axamati dual machine pistols. This is primarily doing slash damage with some impact and puncture damage. Uh, you can get this from Void Relics or from other players, and it's currently vaulted. Next we have the Akjagara Prime. It's a primed variant, a pair of burst fire bladed double barrel pistols. Primarily doing slash damage. It's got a high fire rate, high accuracy and status chance. Acquire this from Void Relics or from other players, and it's currently vaulted. Next we have the Akvasto Prime, which is a primed variant of the dual revolver pistols. It's a semi-auto, does high slash damage, high crit chance, and high status chance. Acquire this from Void Relics that you buy from Barrow Katia, and you can trade these relics with other players. In the secondary B tier list we have uh, the good picks. We've got uh, the Piranha, 
Oh, my favourite secondary weapon is the Piranha Prime. It's a pistol sized shotgun. It's fully auto and it deals mostly slash damage. It's got a high crit chance. It does multi shot and it's very efficient with ammo. You can acquire this weapon from the Tenno Lab uh, in the dojo. Let's move on to the melee weapons for Mastery Rank 12. We've got uh, three weapons that are in the S tier, the best of the best. We have the Nikana Prime, which is a primed variant of the Nikana. It does mostly slash damage. It's got high crit chance and multiplier, high status chance and high attack speed. You can acquire this weapon from Void Relics or from other players, but it's currently vaulted. Next we have the Guandao Prime. It's a primed variant of the Guandao Pole Arm Weapon. Doing primarily slash damage, it's a high damage weapon and high crit chance. You can acquire this weapon from Void Relics, from other players, and some of the relics are currently vaulted, some are not. We have the Orthos Prime, which is a primed variant of the Orthos Pole Arm Weapon. Doing high slash damage, high crit chance, high status chance. And you can get this from Void Relics or other players, and some of those relics are vaulted, some are not. Moving on to the melee A tier, strong picks for melee weapons. Uh, we have the Silver and Aegis Prime. This is a primed variant of the Sword and Shield, dealing heat damage. This weapon does high base damage, high crit chance and high status chance. You can acquire this weapon from Void Relics and other players and it's currently vaulted. The Karist Prime is a primed variant, dagger with low attack speed but very high damage good crits and high status chance. This does primarily slash damage. Acquire it from Void Relics or from other players and some of the relics are vaulted and some are not. Next we have Seti Lacera, which is a variant of the Lacera, which is a blade and whip weapon. It does mostly electric damage. It's got high slash damage, high critical chance, high status chance and fast attack speed. You can currently only trade this with other players because it was part of the Orphix Venom event and the Knights of Nabarus event. Next is the Fragor Prime, which is a primed variant of the Hammer. It's a melee weapon, it does high impact damage. It's a high damage weapon, high crit chance and high multiplier. It's got a low attack speed though. You can acquire this from Void Relics from other players and it's currently vaulted. Next we have the Teko Prime, which is a prime variant of the Teko Fist weapon. It does Primarily slash damage, got a high attack speed and high damage, high status chance, and you can get this from Void Relics and it's currently vaulted. Finally, in the B tier, we have the melee weapon Skana Prime. This is a prime variant of the Skana. It's a sword that does slash damage, very high crit chance and status chance, and crit multiplier. Unfortunately, this weapon's not available as it's only available to founding members. And that's the end of the weapon wrap up for uh, Mastery Rank 12. Thanks for watching, I hope you liked this series. Click like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.